Hey guys, let's talk blood sugar. Key for regulating hormones, mood, energy, and weight. So I'm gonna go through some obvious and not so obvious worst and best foods for blood sugar. Let's start with the obvious, white, right? White refined carbohydrates. These are devoid of protein, fat, and fiber. Protein and fat and fiber, all important for regulating blood sugar. So don't be fooled by multigrain. A serving of this cereal, multigrain cereal, has eight grams of sugar. That's about the same as a cookie. Uh, we have white pasta, it's gonna spike your blood sugar. We have veggie chips, there are no veggies in these veggie sticks. Don't be fooled by wheat bread, devoid of fat, fat fiber, and protein. And then gluten-free pretzels, don't be fooled by gluten-free, it still doesn't mean it's healthy, it's gonna spike your blood sugar. Let's go to juice, maybe you know, juice is often termed liquid sugar. It doesn't have the fiber that's found in regular fruit. We have dried fruit. Dried fruit is gonna spike your blood sugar as much as Skittles, I hate to say it, so put down the dried fruit and eat real whole fruit. Berries are my favorite. Sweetened yogurts. Now plain yogurt I'm a fan of, that's a form of protein, but sweetened yogurts, this one in particular, has, let's see, 19 grams of sugar. You might as well eat ice cream for breakfast. So put that down. Opt for plain yogurt if you're gonna eat yogurt. Okay, this is a not so obvious one. Oat milk. I know this is touted as a health food right now, but you're better off for blood sugar balance choosing coconut milk or almond milk. A serving of oat milk has 16 grams of carbohydrates. That means it's going to spike your blood sugar and thus insulin, promoting more fat storage. Versus a serving of almond milk has one gram of carbohydrate, even if you get the unsweetened. So off for almond milk for blood sugar stabilization. Then we have tomato sauce or pasta sauce. So this is often a hidden source of sugar. A serving of this one, a commercial tomato sauce, has nine grams of sugar. It's like eating cookies with your pasta. You're gonna, you're gonna have a spike in blood sugar. Same thing with tomatoes, tomato soup. Main ingredient, if you don't make it yourself, if it's commercial, is sugar. So those were the worst foods for blood sugar. Let's talk best foods for blood sugar. The theme here is gonna be fat, fiber and protein. So we've got avocado, an excellent source of monounsaturated fat. This is a superfood for blood sugar and just keeping you full and satisfied. We have eggs, a complete protein. Starting the day with eggs is going to be a great way to stabilize that blood sugar. Think train ride throughout the day, right? We want stable blood sugar, not the roller coaster ride you're going to get with cereal, for instance, starting, starting the day with cereal. It's not going to lead to um, good blood sugar stabilization. Then we have chia seeds. Chia seeds are an excellent source of fiber. They keep you full, they keep you satisfied, and they help you poop. Good for blood sugar. We have almond butter, nuts, seeds, nut butters, seed butter, like sunflower seed butter or almond butter, is a great way to fill you up and keep that blood sugar stable. So if you are gonna have a rice cake, for instance, which is a carb, pair that with an almond butter. Um, or fruit, apple, for instance, it's a sugar, it's a natural sugar, but pair it with a nut butter. And then not my favorite, non-starchy green leafy vegetables, like arugula and kale. All right, I hope that was helpful. Remember to keep that blood sugar stable for good energy, mood, hormone health, and healthy weight.